Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Stephen Hawking, the very famous cosmologist, finally adopted string theory. The theory which was submitted for publication before Hawking's death. It is based on string theory and predicts the universe is finite and far simpler than many current theories about the Big Bang say. In string theory, the smallest mass is the mass of a string. The vibration of the string determines its mass. In physics, string theory is a theoretical framework in which point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. It describes how these strings propagate through space and interact with each other. On distance scales larger than the string scale, a string looks just like an ordinary particle, with its mass, charge and other properties determined by the vibrational state of the string. However, this was portrayed in the Quran 1400 years before it was discovered. Subhanallah. And let's watch how. Allah states in the Noble Quran, Inna Allah la yadlimu mithqala dharran. Inna Allah la yadlimu mithqala dharran. Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrongs not even to the weight of an atom. Allah Azza wa Jal highlights that on the day of Qiyamah, our deeds are going to be weighed upon an atomic scale. In the sense, we're going to be weighed by atoms so much that not even the tiniest, minute form of injustice will be served on that day because Allah Azza wa Jal is the most just on the day of Qiyamah. But Allah does not end it there. Further on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ نَقِيرًا That they will not be served in justice even to the extent of naqira. Now naqira, it's interesting, can be translated as knocking. Knocking. Naqara means to knock. Naqira, they will not be served in justice, they will not be oppressed even to the extent of a knocking. Now you might wonder, what's this knocking and what does it mean? Just recently, if I'm not mistaken, uh, scholars state, scientists state that in the year 2000 or a little before 2000 or after 2000, that there are scientists who came to a conclusion that within an atom, because you have particles that orbit, okay, within that you have a tiny molecule, a tiny particle inside the atom, okay, and this particular particle does not move around in orbit, but instead it moves up and down within a shell. It moves up and down, like a speck. It moves up and down, just like this. So it's almost as if it is knocking inside the atom. There, is, there are so many energy uh, particles. You have photons, you have protons, you have so many things within it. And these are things that orbit the, uh, the, the entire structure of the atom. But within the atom, maybe a hundred thousand times smaller, you have something that knocks up and down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ نَقِيرًا They will not be oppressed even to the extent of a knocking, the knocking of this particular tiny particle within the atom. Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stop there? Further on in the same surah, Allah Azza wa Jal states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ فَتِيلًا They will not be oppressed even to the extent of a fatila. Now what is a fatila? Fatila is, you can translate fatila as a thread, a tiny thread. Now logically we understand that we went from atom to naqira, which can be translated as a quark. That is the tiny particle within the orbit that moves up and down in a knocking fashion. And now we have fatila, thread. There are scientists and uh, people who are experts in this particular field who state that within a quark, you have threads of energy, threads of energy. And they're like tiny threads that float around. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights in the Noble Quran as fatila. Fatila is translated as a thread. You can translate it as the thread that you find on date stones, on the seeds of dates. But this, when you look at it from a point of physics, you understand it more better. And think about it, 1437 years ago, they hadn't even spoke about the atom at that time, about the molecule at that time. But all of these factors, Allah Azza wa Jal revealed all of this unto Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahu Akbar. How would Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come up with this in the middle of the desert 1437 years ago if not for the fact that these are the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and only now we 
very recently have established these facts. Facts that the Quran spoke about so many years ago. Brothers and sisters, if you find this video helpful, give this video a like and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.